Good evening and welcome to our Facebook Live this evening. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. Uh, it's been a very nice, bright, sunny day today. Um, so let's hope that continues for the next few days. If you've been watching me during this week, you will have seen that we've been using the Daisy Garden stamp from Stampin' Up, which is this one here. So it's a single stamp. Good evening, Lynn. Um, a single stamp that you can stamp in a colour and um, colour in. Whether that is black you stamp it in or early espresso or a green. And you can, uh, we did various things this week so I'll show you a couple of samples of those. What I'm going to do this evening is some white embossing. Hi Katie. To create a card similar to this. If you can see that so I've used some black card which I've got here in front of me and I've stamped this in the Versamark ink and then I have heat embossed that after adding white embossing powder so I'm going to recreate that I'm also going to do something with this one as well to add some color so that's our plan for this evening and if you didn't catch any of these earlier in the week, I'll just show you a couple. So we started off with this one, just some straightforward stamping with um, this particular one is Magenta Madness. And I've added the matching ribbon. So that's what we did on the first day. Hi, Carol. And then we had some colouring in, which you can see on here. And I've just stamped there in early espresso and then coloured in the different layers. We're using our blends pens. And then we had the spotlight technique. This is one I um, did after our live yesterday. So this was um, yesterday's live. And here's another variation of it in most people's favourite colour, which is purple. And this one will be Carol's favourite colour because it's orange. And I know that Carol loves orange. So for that particular technique, all we did was stamp it, cut out a circle coloured in the image within the circle thank you and then replace the circle back on and added a sentiment so today we're going to do some heat embossing um, I know a lot of people are nervous of heat embossing particularly white on black but let's just give it a go so I've got a sheet of A5 um, black card and I've just placed this on my Stamparatus. Now what I would recommend if you are doing heat embossing is to use a piece of card much bigger than you need so that you've got plenty of space to hold it around the edge without um, getting any static or stickiness or marks on it. So I'm just going to pop that there. I think that will work with my um, image. Whoops, a daisy. And then I'm going to use my embossing buddy, which is our static um, powder, anti-static powder. And I'm going to rub this all over the card, even the areas where the image won't be, because you're just, you know, you're just protecting it. And you can do this a couple of times. Um, just to make sure it's really coated what i do recommend sometimes is to do it and then leave it for a minute and then just come back and do that again like so oops apart from moving it unnecessarily 
let me just position this back again I've got a layer of paper underneath it's not really necessary I'm just using it to line up here okay so if I bring my stamp over I can see it's going to be a little bit off the top so I'm going to move this piece further down I've just got a magnet on there and that will work perfectly because I'm going to cut this piece down and then I'm going to use a Versamark ink pad so this is known as a watermark ink pad hope you can see I know you'll be able to see some of this and I'm going to ink up my stamp coat it really well now my Versamark ink pads are very old when they start off they're um, well that pad is almost um, it's a creamy color so it's not white it's a cream color um, but they do get contaminated but you can just refill them with Versamark ink refill so I'm just going to stamp that down so bringing this over and it's a lot easier to do with um, a Stamparatus especially with you've got a large image anyway because if you haven't got enough of a coating you can go back and add another layer of ink so this is what I'm going to do here even if it stamps well the first time okay now I appreciate you can't see that I can see that but I'm just going to add another coat of ink because I really want the white embossing powder to stick nicely to the image okay so just taking time to ink that up like so and stamping it again and this obviously um, hopefully hasn't moved as I've had my magnet in place on top of the card hi Karen thanks for joining us this evening what's the weather with you in Canada I wonder okay now I can just see that this little bud here hasn't quite caught the ink that is better okay so I'm going to lift this off now I don't know how much of that you can see in the light oh if I just do that hopefully you will see it okay so I'm just going to move this out of the way and bring in some scrap paper so I say by using a larger amount than you need you can handle the paper without getting too close to the image that you've got oh a cool day for Karen good so this is what we're um, creating Karen we're doing some white heat embossing on some black card so what I'm going to do is just scoop this up and pop it onto my card like so normally I just do this sort of up in the air and hold the card over but it's easier for you to see if I do this with the card flat because I can tip tip this back in later so I think I should have all of that stamped image like so so I'm just going to pick this up and put the bulk of it back in like so okay so you can see the image there and then I'm just going to flick it over and just flicking from the back to loosen any odd bits of white and you can see that's that's well coated there's not too much um, extra little bits and pieces you can use a um, paintbrush to get rid of those let me just lift this up and pop it in there 
so you can just use this to brush away any odd bits and pieces if you've got a small amount then you really want a fine you don't really want a big paintbrush like this you just want a fine brush you could use our um, water painters as long as they're completely dry you could also use the tip of um, tweezers or a pair of scissors if you've got a little bit that you want to loosen up here and there okay I'm generally happy with that as it is so the critical thing is to put the lid back on your embossing powder so that A, you don't knock it over and B, you don't heat it by mistake because that would be an awful mess. So there we go. So I'm going to heat emboss this. So I have my heat tool. I'm just going to start it up away from the microphone and bring it over here. Just waiting for it to heat up like so and hopefully you'll be able to see it change so I always start on one side and then push the heat tool along the image So I'm just going to stop at that point. Hopefully you can see this bit here at the bottom is now shiny and bright white and the bit at the top is still dull because I haven't heated that bit yet. Okay, so if you see any dull patches it means that you haven't heated it and it hasn't melted the powder. So I'm just going to do that at the top section. I have all of that that's using our heat gun so it has two speeds for the heat gun one is um, just a gentle heat for drying things and the second one is one specifically for embossing so if I have a look at that that looks all done apart from the very tips of those leaves at the very top So that is our finished design and you'll see there's very little um, odd bits and pieces and that's because I completely coated the whole piece in fact this piece is you know just untouched and um, coated it over left it a little bit and then coated it again okay to give a really stunning effect so all I'm going to do now is cut this up and layer it onto a card and then I want to show you how you can add colour to this if you want to. So this is um, known as, as black on white or white on black. It's not monochrome because monochrome means one colour. And obviously we have black and white which is two colours but people often call it monochrome. Um, so all I'm going to do is just cut this down. Uh, manually and add it so just get my trimmer and I know I can cut off this right hand edge just a little bit and it's just going to be a single layer onto a card so I know that that width needs to be 10 centimeters like so I'm going to chop this a little bit off the bottom and the height wants to be 
um, 14.35. Oh, so it's a little bit short of what I need, but I think I'll be okay. Let's have a look and see how it fits on our white there. So this is just a standard basic um, white card. And we're just going to pop this on the top and then add a sentiment to it. And I tend to use a wet glue so that because it's been heated, this piece of card and it's got the embossing on it, it can curl up a little bit. So I tend to coat it nicely and then when I place it down, I'm just going to give it a nice amount of pressure to make sure it's completely flat onto my card. So I just press that down and then I'm going to turn over, make sure my work surface is clean and then add this. I think white on black or black on white is stunning but I think particularly white on black. So there's our image and for this one here I stamped um, and embossed white on black again but I think I'll do for this one the reverse which is I'll take a piece of white card and stamp in black to see what it looks like and then I'm just going to add some colour um, to this one so you can see the difference um, let me grab a small piece of white card I've got a very narrow piece here I've also cut from something but this is perfect for this narrow stamp set called Blossoms in Bloom. It's got these really nice um, italic, italic, capital um, sentiments and where you've only got a small space it's perfect so I think I'm going to do a happy birthday. Maretta, thanks for joining us. I hope you're well and your family are well. Just going to let that that there. So just been um, heat embossing white onto black card. Lovely to have you join us. So I'm just adding some black memento ink if I don't like this I will heat emboss onto black as well but I've just thought it might be quite nice just stamp that onto there like that okay so I think what I might do is actually make that go across the whole of that piece just for something a little bit different so uh, rather than risk cutting it with my scissors I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm just going to measure this at um, ten and a half centimeters which will be the width of the card like so and what I'm actually going to do is push the blade up to the top just so it doesn't move that around anywhere. Black and white's great for a man's card. The other thing that is nice, I think, is um, navy and white. That is also quite stunning. I think I'm going to keep this flat rather than on dimensionals. No, no. I'm going to put dimensionals on, change part. There we go. So if you're on my email list, you will have received um, an email from me this evening with regards to joining Stamping Up and um, taking advantage of the fact that demonstrators can buy their products at a discount. Uh, you don't have to demonstrate. Um, you can basically 
um, join the club if you like for want of a better description buy your products at a discount and take advantage of the great um, uh, what's the word I can't think of the word community that's the word the community that we have as demonstrators um, certainly within our team we have lots of fun lots of activities we're very supportive uh, very friendly um, and we always welcome new team members um, at any time but at the moment it's a particularly good time to join so what I'm going to do with this one is just have a little bit of a go colouring it in so I have my blends pen it does need to be a blends pen or you could use a permanent marker and what I'm going to try so you could even do the spotlight technique with this actually let me just do a couple of flowers and see I haven't tried this um, but I just think it would be an interesting combination so I'm going to try um, let's take this one here pumpkin pie in the center so what this is doing is coloring the white because obviously you couldn't stamp in pumpkin pie on black you just wouldn't see it um, so colouring the white embossing with um, a permanent marker. What have I got here? Mango Melody. So some of this will go onto the black card, but you won't see it. And this actual flower here is um, very detailed, so there's a lot of ink. So give this a go see what you think and then you can tell me which ones you prefer whether you prefer the colored version or the plain black and white so I'm just stretching this out a little bit more like so like that quite effective isn't it? it reminds me of a sort of chalk effect um, let's do another one I'm going to use the narrow ends because the, the bullet tips a little bit harder and because we're going on to embossing powder um, it's going to help that lay the colour down as opposed to the brush tip So there we go. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer the plain white or do you prefer the white with a little bit of colour? So this would definitely be fun with the spotlight technique, which was this one here. So you could re you could recreate this and then um, use a circle die or a punch to cut this out and then um, color that segment and then put it back in or you could also um, cut this out and pop it onto here so that you've got a black background I might have to have a go with that I don't think I've ever seen that done before where you take a black silhouette um, image and lay it on top of that so I won't do that this evening but I might have a go at that at home tomorrow so let's just add a little bit on the tips here So let me know what you think. Quite effective, isn't it? And it doesn't really matter if you go over onto the edge and you're onto the black card 
it's really not the end of the world because you're not really going to see that colour on there. So the question is, shall I do all of them? Or shall I stop at that point? Perhaps I'll do this one here. And then let me know if you think I should do them all as a contrast. Or leave them like that. So effectively, we've done a sort of spotlight technique, highlighting the just a few flowers, but not in a specific circle or shape. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining us. So, um, heat embossing. As you can see, I stamped the whole thing in Versamark, inked it up with white um, embossing, inked it up, <gasps> covered it with white embossing powder and then heated it. And now I'm using blends pens to add a little bit of colour on top of the white. Um, now this technique would also, not necessarily the colouring, sorry, but the white on black is um, a good technique to do with split negative technique where you stamp two images in contrast. So you'd have white on black, black on white, cut them down the middle and then swap half of it over. Um, I think that would also be stunning. So just doing right up to the edges here. So let me know, coloured or non-coloured? go and I think I'll do a little bit of green for that greenery around there so this is almost like just tracing those lines but it just gives it a little bit of interest doesn't it none coloured oh non coloured so you like the plain one Tracy that's fine I can't I can't decide <laughs> you know me just going to colour these leaves in so the question is do I carry on colouring or do I leave this one just with those elements coloured? That's all I need to know. There's that. They both look good, thank you. Oh! Oh my goodness, half, half term already. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It didn't seem that long since they'd gone back, I have to say, Maretta. But I guess it is. There we go. So what do you reckon? Should I do the whole thing? Or should I leave it like that? It's quite easy bit of colouring because you're just literally 
tracing over and it doesn't matter if you miss a little bit and it's quite nice to have these little white bits um, in place let's look how much of that you can see also be stunning with pink wouldn't it so there we go yeah so on the basis you don't need to see me color the rest in i may or may not color the whole thing i can't quite decide um so there we go heat embossing um as i say my recommendation is take your sheet uh, actually if you can see the difference this one has got some specks around here i actually don't think you can see that um and this one is almost completely clear the specks and that's because i used our embossing buddy on the whole sheet left it and then came back and added another layer and that does seem to have made a real difference and i think that is one of the main problems people find especially with white is the little specks of embossing powder get everywhere so i recommend uh, an embossing buddy we don't sell it anymore i'm afraid but i'm sure you can pick them up at craft stores and um, almost certainly online um, at Amazon or somewhere like that. So there we are, a complete contrast for our earlier cards this week, but all using that same stamp set, Daisy Garden. So a single stamp, it's £20, it's in the new annual catalogue and I've had great fun um, working with that. I might well try a spotlight technique um, switching these over on a different card so we'll give that a go so thank you so much for joining me that's all I wanted to cover today trying to keep my evening sessions to 30 minutes at the maximum and I seem to have managed that this evening so thank you for joining me I'm not here tomorrow um, as usual I'm now running my Facebook Lives Monday to Thursday, Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Saturday afternoon, I have my class in a box. If anybody wants to join us for the live on Saturday and have access to the class, then I am doing um, an option from here on where you can just buy the class access and not have the products. Perfect for people outside of the UK, um, where you want to join in with the class, but obviously you, well, I'm not able to send you the products. So if anybody wants to join in that, then just comment. It's um, £10 to join and have the live class, or £8 if you're unable to join the live class, but you want access to all the individual video tutorials okay thanks so much um i seem to have nattered rather a lot this evening i hope you like my cards i hope you'll give this technique a go take care and look after yourselves look after your loved ones and i hope you're able to keep crafting thank you everybody take care enjoy your evening or your day depending on where you are and if you're watching on replay i appreciate you taking the time to find me and um, watch. Thank you so much. Bye for now.